Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today we continue our journey in learning Loopy Pro and I'm going to explain how to select clips. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so we are inside uh, AUM. As you can see, just an audio channel with Loopy Pro selected as an audio source. And I have just loaded the project, which has a button here and then a number of clips, which have uh, some loops. And uh, there are different, of course, clips with different colors. But today, uh, the tutorial is about how to select clips because that becomes important as we progress with the understanding of using actions inside the Loopy Pro. Okay, so uh, let's go in edit mode and let's select this button and let's add uh, a action which we've already seen uh, through previous tutorials. And um, as a target, I'm going to select, um, instead of a specific clip, I'm going to select a selected clip, which says select clips with your controller using the select action. Okay, I selected that, and now we exit these. And um, if I click on the button, nothing happens. And that's because there is no clip selected. So how do I go about selecting clips? Okay, one way is very simple. I can do it, for example, at a specific clip level. So I swipe up, okay, I scroll down when it says gesture, that's one way. And of course, I go, for example, swipe right, I click add, and I will say select um, as an action, this clip. And of course, I can then close. And now if I swipe right, you can see this dot here in the middle, which means the clip is selected. Now, if I press the button, it will select that clip for playing. And if I select that again, it will toggle that clip, of course, and therefore it will stop from playing based on the action which has been defined in this button. Now, if I go to this clip here and I swipe right, well, I cannot select a clip because the selection of clip has been defined as a gesture and only against this clip. So another way to a configure gesture would be to go by color groups. So for example, we can select the lime as a color. We can scroll down, we can go to gestures and we can find the same one, swipe right. And then we can select um, uh, the specific action, select this clip and then of course, close this down. Now, if I swipe right here on the lime color, you can see I have selected this clip. And now if I press the button, it will uh, get to play this clip and also to stop. Of course, at the moment, you're not hearing any play and stop because I don't have the transport control active in the UM. But if I press play, I can activate them. Okay, and so, so that's one way to do it. But again, if I go to this particular clip with a different color and I swipe right, of course, I don't have it defined there either. So again, you can go to clip settings here and defining the selection of that clip in the, uh, the clip of all clips, I should say, through the settings for all clips. In this case, uh, swipe right and we uh, select again, like so. And we, of course, exit. And in this way, now, every time I, I swipe right, I will select the clip and you can see the dot in the middle. Okay. So again, if I press play here, or if I press the button, which will play, uh, we'll talk about the play stop um, here against the clip, which is selected, we'll do that against this clip here. Okay, and this becomes important as we progress in learning how to use actions in uh, Loopy Pro. Uh, as you will see in the, some of the upcoming uh, tutorials, you will see we will start to use action against the selected clip. And this is one of the ways that you can select a clip using gesture, gesture at a specific clip level, at a color group level, or at clips level for all of them. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See you next time.